Hey guys, it's Alan from Hacked Gadgets here. I just wanted to share our latest project with you. It's a Halloween hanging mobile. My daughter thought this would be a great use of the CNC machine, and here's a sneak peek of what the final project looks like. So what she did is she went on the internet and downloaded a little bit of clip art, and used that clip art as inspiration to make some diagrams. So those diagrams were then scanned into the computer and cleaned up a little bit just using simple paint. Those bitmap images were imported into a program called ArtCam and converted to vectors. Then those vectors were converted to toolpaths, uh, which eventually will allow the CNC machine to cut them out. And here's a simulation of what that should look like if everything goes well. Okay, this is the CNC machine computer. And this is the Fireball V90 CNC machine itself. And it has a Bosch Colt router. Now the one issue we have with the Bosch Colt is it has a quarter inch collet on it and the the bit that we're going to be using is a three millimeter single flute bit and as you can see here it's very small so we actually have a chuck that was made by MCPI uh, to allow us to use that. We're using Mach 3 to operate the CNC machine. This is the main uh, control screen here and if I go over to the toolpath screen you can see this is uh, the path it's going to take to cut out all of our objects. Whenever you are using a CNC machine, you must have eye protection and ear protection. Okay, we're going to get started cutting this. The CNC is ready to go. There's a piece of wood in there. I'll just turn on the motor controller. I'll turn on the router. And the vacuum cleaner. Okay, I won't bore you with any more of the actual cutting out with the CNC machine. That's just more of the same. And uh, here's the final results. Uh, this bat here was actually um, not hand-drawn. That was actually just transferred directly from clip art. And I think they turned out pretty good. Uh, if we were going to do the pumpkin again, the stem would be a little bit uh, thicker. It's a little bit weak at the stem. Everything else is quite solid, though. And so here we're all set up, and uh, my daughter's going to be doing some painting. And if you're wondering uh, if that orange doesn't look very orange for the pumpkin, um, that's as close as we could do. We didn't actually have any real orange paint, so we just sort of mixed some colors together. 
And there we go. There's a the final result. If you uh, want some more details about this project, please go to hackedgadgets.com.